Welcome back everybody. This is going to be a quick video on just how to log into TradingView and use its website because uh, some people don't know how to do that. And I also need to create multiple content videos to make my YouTube channel go to the moon. Um, so uh, you go to TradingView.com. And it looks something like this. You come up here to the search menu and you type in, for instance, um, Doge is um, quite the hot topic right now. So D-O-G-E against U.S. dollar, U-S-D, just like that. It'll pop up a list, you know, you can scroll down and you got a whole bunch of different exchanges or um, root sources that is pulling the information from. Um, let's go to... Gemini, let's see what Gemini has to offer. Okay, so you click on Gemini and it'll pop up a chart. All right. And so now you have, well, it won't look like this because I have a bunch of extra tools open. But, you know, a basic, what's this? Uh, oh, come on now. You know, here's your chart, and then, you know, I got I got a bunch of stuff open, but it'll look like probably something like that, you know? Um, and then, yeah, that's how you get to what you, your chart that you want to see. This one up here, right here, if you want to change the ticker. So right now I'm on Doge versus the U.S. dollar, you know? It looks like it's doing okay. Let's go check out, uh, let me click up here. It's, um, I don't know, Bitcoin. Let's see what Bitcoin's doing. Bitcoin, US dollar. And boom, now you have the Bitcoin chart. And it'll tell you up here what, what chart you're looking at. Also right here. Um, and then right here, you know, you have your three minutes, five minutes, etc. If you want to add, you know, you click on that arrow and you can... The star over here means it's a favorite, so if I, uh, up here I have the five minutes, if I want to take that off of my quick menu, I will just click the star, and you can see now that it's not clicked and it's no longer up there. I'll put it back with the star, now it's there. Um, you know, and so you can customize any way you want. I just took the three minutes off, and now you can see it's not there anymore. Um, over here is your indicators. So this would be, let's say, you come down here to built-ins. Let's say you want to, and see I have my favorites so already start up. You want to use the RSI. A lot of people know and like to use the RSI, so relative strength index. You would come down here and you would hit the star, and it would now be accessible through your favorites menu, which I will go back up here, and now see I have this favorites menu, and boom, now here is a list of all of the ones that I, I, I use a lot more frequently than, say, just random things that I might need to look at, uh, like inflow or, you know, stuff like that that you're not going to look at every day. Uh, so yeah, so that's um, basically how to use this up here for beginners. You wouldn't really need to use much more than that. Over here is your your menu. You have your trend line, your line based tools. You have your your you know your retracements and your fibs and stuff like that. You have right here. You have like a paintbrush if you want to just draw lines. You can do that. Um, and over here you have text boxes where you know you can click and you want to write um, bullish uh, trend, you know, say for war for instance, okay. And now you can have bullish trend right here. You want to draw a trend line from down here, boom, to right there, boom. And then now you have now you have your bullish trend text it says hey look that's starting to look you know here's your low here's a higher low even higher low and it's starting to look bullish so all right i hope you enjoyed this video um, don't forget to hit that subscribe like turn on the bell button to all um, for the most updated content thank you